Your home is your haven. And if you've outgrown it and it's feeling a little bit tight, it might be time to look for more space. But what are the most important questions you need to be asking? Here's my top five. Question number one, what's the best timing for me and my family? If you've come to the realization that it is time to upsize, timing is a huge factor, particularly if you have children. Are you going to try to do this in the middle of the school year, or are you wanting to wait till school is out? Doesn't necessarily mean you don't start looking during school, but timing is a major factor you should discuss with your agent to make sure that you're lining everything up in the right way. And most importantly, if school is a big factor, make sure you're moving to a location where you like the school and if you want your kids to get settled before school starts, you better start looking in the spring. Two, what's the best location for us? Location, location, location. It means everything in real estate. And when choosing a larger home, maybe with a bigger yard or lot, location can vary. If you're currently living in a townhome or condo with a really tight knit community where you walk everywhere, you're going to have to really think long and hard about the lifestyle changes you're willing to make. Think about commute, church, school, friends, what proximity is going to make you the happiest. And when you're house shopping, make sure you factor that in. Three, what's it going to cost me to upsize? As you move towards a bigger house, things like mortgage, property taxes, insurance, and utilities can all increase. So make sure you and your agent are doing some due diligence on what those numbers could look like. In addition to that, there are the costs of moving, getting your house sold, moving and packing up. Are you doing it yourself or are you hiring somebody? There's a lot of financials to figure out. So before you make any major decisions, get out a pen and paper and jot those things down. Number four, what do we really need versus what do we want? Wants versus needs. You can have both. But in my opinion, needs have to come first. How many bedrooms do you need? How big of a kitchen do you need? Do you need a garage? Do you want a garage? Really weigh the options of what's going to affect your day-to-day -day life the most positively. And then if there's room left over, add in the fun stuff. Number five, what am I going to do with my current home? The financial part of this that we discussed earlier definitely keys into this section as well, because do you need to sell your current home to be able to afford your next home? Or is it something you can keep as an investment? The numbers that your real estate agent can provide you in addition to a conversation with your lender will give you a lot of clarity when it comes to this question. But it's something you want to know right up front because your buying strategy will vary depending upon if you have to sell your house first or if you're keeping your house, whether to sell it later or as an investment, that's a totally different ball game. Five major questions you need to be asking yourself when considering whether or not to upsize. And here's one more. Are you under insured on your house? If you're not sure, do not miss my video that goes over exactly what you need to be looking at for your home insurance. I'm Lindsay Johnson, your resource for all things real estate. See you next time.